Hey there, Stampin' Friends. Welcome to Movie Monday with Jody Breckbill, Stampin' Queen. Today's craft is going to be this little Giardelli holder, and uh, it just slides a little square of chocolate in there just perfectly. And um, this is actually a direct case from the Pink Buckaroo. That's Erica Sirwin, but we did this in <clears throat> my WOW class, and we also did this with my team meeting, and so I promised them I would do a video as well, and you guys get to benefit. So let me show you how to create this. We do use our stitched rectangle framelits which are in our occasions catalog they are fabulous you they are a must have we're also going to use the painted seasons bundle so this is a stamp set available now till march 31st this ant comes in a bundle so during celebration when you have a 100 dollars purchase you can choose this and a pack of 12 by 12 uh, coordinating paper and <clears throat> I will show that we're going to work with that a little bit too but you can purchase the coordinating framelits as well which I have right here and I really like these framelits because we're giving doubles and triples of some items so like we've got two leaves here we've got two of the fern these little guys so when you go to run if you're doing a project that requires multiples you can run it through the big shot with one pass and cut multiples of them out so I really like that we're doing that so great uh, time saver for us. I also am using Itty Bitty Greetings and this is in our annual catalog. Lots of little cute stamps uh, for anything that you might need. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to take a piece of Poppy Parade and I went ahead and die cut. I don't know if you can see them on the other side. See the stitched edges here? So that is done with our rectangle framelits, which like I said, they are a must have, love them. So we're gonna score, I have the long side at the top. This piece ends up, um, it's a little bit odd. So it looks like it's like four and three quarters by like three and three eighths, something like that. But it doesn't really matter because you're gonna cut your, your cardstock bigger and then run it through with the die. So long side at the top, you're going to do a score at three quarters, one inch, three and three quarter, and four. Then you're gonna turn and you're gonna do the short side at one inch and one and one quarter. So that's how you're gonna create your little box. So I'm gonna scoot this out of the way. Bring in a piece of paper because I, I do want to do a little stamping. So I'm going to use my Poppy Parade ink and the, I don't know what this is. It might be a poppy. I'm not sure. I'm not real good at flowers. And so I'm just going to do some random stamping on here just so that we have a little bit of, oops, don't want that, flower showing. Then we're going to take our score and I always like to I always tell you guys I like to make my scores so that I can I feel like I can see them better when they're actually folded all right so in order to create the box we're gonna get rid of these down here these big um, squares down in the corner so I'm just gonna cut those out So while I have it flat, I am going to take a piece of that. This is the designer series paper I was talking about with the paint, the painted seasons. It comes in 12 by 12 and it's just got some really, really gorgeous, gorgeous patterns. And I think I'm going to put the, I'm going to do the green showing. And while it is flat, it's easier to glue this piece in. And uh, it really is just a little bit of some background so when you pull your candy out you still have a pretty design in the back so now that's how this is going to go together super super simple you're just going to have that um, come up and ta-da your candy fits right in there now I do suggest using a heavier duty 
uh, adhesive than snail. So I pulled in my Fast Fuse, which we no longer have, but for some reason I have lost my entire roll of Terran tape. I have no idea where it is. I'm kind of wondering if it got thrown away. So I will get more, but in the meantime, we're going to use Fast Fuse. Uh, what I also like to do with this one is actually put my candy inside. It kind of helps to hold it kind of in place so that I can pull it up here and uh, glue it glue it down. All right, so then the next step would be to take a piece of that designer paper, another strip of that, and just wrap that around the bottom. It's a little longer than I need, so I am gonna just snip that off a little bit. <clears throat> Again, with my Fast Fuse. Super sticky just really helps to keep it together. Um, it wants to kind of pop off a little bit because that candy is thick in there. So I got a little, little crooked. That's okay. <clears throat> now if it doesn't quite match up, that's all right. I'm going to trim again. Uh, because your flower is going to go over top and cover up any issues you might have. So now what I did ahead of time was I stamped a sentiment and I die cut that out again with a rectangle framelit. I stamped a poppy parade flower, die cut that out as well. And then I did two of the leaves, die cut those ahead of time. They are stamped in early espresso on to uh, soft suede and I stamped an early espresso flower and what I'm going to do is just cut out which to me looks like an eyeball so we're just going to cut the eyeball out of there there's no dye for this got a fussy cut but that's okay every now and then we don't mind because it just really helps to make that flower pop so snail on there and there we go. Beautiful. So I'm um, trying to think of what I did next. I did do a little bit of snail on the bottoms of these leaves. So I just have them stuck here. And then I did a couple dimensionals. And what I found was easiest was actually sticking them onto the project and then overlaying this so that no adhesive stuck off. I also did used some of our little mini dimensionals on my sentiment so that it does have a little bit of a pop as well. And I think I'm gonna snip that down because I think it was gonna be, yeah, it's gonna be a little bit too long. So I just snip that down a little bit Got my cinnamon on there then all i need to do is put my flower on there oh i should <laughs> i should peel this off first right would that help probably and there we go so we have now i did add on this one i did a little bit of twine on there this one i did whoops this one i did not but you can you can add those yourself so is that not like so stinking cute so easy and you can just pop your candy out and then you've got a little holder you can recycle put another piece of candy in because you know we gotta gotta eat our candy so thanks so much for joining me you guys i hope you enjoyed that project thank you pink buckaroo for the lovely idea and um, i will catch you guys next week for movie monday